Reaching young people through print has been a priority for the Salvation Army for 137 years. It all started in 1880 when a Salvation Army meeting filled a large Wesleyan chapel in Blythe, England. A child stood outside the door, there was no room for her. Captain John Roberts' heart was moved. Tell your friends that there will be a special meeting next Friday at 6 o'clock, he said. That meeting held on July 30, 1880 was the beginning of the Salvation Army's work with children and the work spread rapidly. So rapidly that the editor of the war cry received enough news about children to fill all of his pages. The founder then made a decision that young people should have their own paper, The Little Soldier, and the man who started the children's meetings, Captain John Roberts, would be the editor. And the content? Stories written by children, for children, testifying of the work of Jesus Christ in their lives. In 1895, the United States began printing Young Soldier. The yearbook of 1954 described it as a religious weekly newspaper for children that resulted in the conversion of many girls and boys and men and women throughout the world. In January 1984, Young Salvations became a teen young adult supplement to the Young Soldier. The last insert of Young Soldier was published in December 1990, and 1991 welcomed the first full copy of Young Salvationist. The Salvation Army's publication journey has evolved. Now, in 2018, we find ourselves attempting to reach a generation where Christianity is waning. The percentage of teens who identify as atheists is double that of the general population. How do we reach today's Generation Z? Just like Captain John Roberts, our hearts are moved. The doors of our publication are opening to those standing outside. We recognize our need to change, to have a voice in today's culture. So a new publication's coming, with a new name, a new audience in mind, and a whole new look. And our mission? To ignite a faith conversation that will deepen biblical perspective, faith, and holy living. Will you join the conversation?